Good morning children. Today we are going to learn chapter 3 and the name of the chapter is The Ungrateful Frog. Children, this story is about a frog who is very ungrateful to the people who help him. But children, do you know what is the meaning of ungrateful? To learn its meaning, first we will understand what is the meaning of grateful. When someone helps you, you say thank you. Fine, it means you are grateful to the person. In the same way, it is just the opposite of uh, ungrateful. Grateful is the opposite of ungrateful. So you can say ungrateful means not uh, feeling thankful to the person, to the helping person. Okay, or you can say not feeling or showing gratitude to the person okay gratitude means you know the quality of being thankful so the ungrateful frog it means he is very selfish he doesn't say thank you to the people who help him he doesn't show gratitude to the people who help him and this is stories about around the world so we are going to learn about different kinds of animals persons and the people okay so let's start first we will do warm-up it is important to be thankful to those who help us. Yes, children, it is very important. Otherwise, what will happen from next time? If you need help of someone, they will never help you. Do this activity in your class. Think of any one good deed, means action or work your classmate has done for you. Mm -hmm. Write it on a piece of paper, read it aloud in class and thank him or her. Then fold the slip and put it in a glass jar. Label it gratitude jar. Gratitude means I already told you the quality of being thankful. And continue this activity whenever someone helps you out. Children, uh, you can make two uh, jar like this. One is gratitude jar means uh, you will put the paper, a piece of paper where your friend has helped you. You can make one more jar where you can write it on a piece of paper than when you helped someone. So you will get to know how many times you have you have helped anyone and how many times people have helped you. This is a very interesting activity children you can do this. Now let's read the story. This story is about two person. Uh, one is a frog a small frog it's an animal and uh, another is about a about a king. Okay so let's read it. A king ruler helps a small green frog escape his predators. Is the frog grateful? Read this story to find out. See children, what is the meaning of predators? It means birds or animals that kill other animals for food. Okay, so you know a frog is such a small animal. So anyone can kill it. Anyone can eat it. The, the large animals, the big animals. So a kind ruler okay a gentle ruler he helped him he helped him from being killed by his predators so what do you think has the frog um, said thank you to him was he grateful or was he ungrateful so let's read this story to find out the king of the reeds had worked all day long children do you know what is the meaning of reeds first you should learn what is the meaning of reeds okay it is a small it is a tall slender leaved plant of the grass family i will show you the picture here don't worry okay and it uh, grows in water or on marshy ground you can say i will show you the picture of reeds so the king of the reeds had worked all day long he was so tired <clears throat> so as he sat down to rest for a while he heard sad croaks coming from a patch of water lilies at the edge of the a uh, beautiful lake where his kingdom lay. So children crocs you know it is the sound of a frog. And patch of water lilies means what? A floating leaves of water lily. <clears throat> I will show you this picture also. So as he sat down to take rest he heard the sound of a frog. From where was it coming? From the edge means the you can say the outer line. The boundary of the beautiful lake. The end of the lake means it is surround lake is surrounded okay by uh, this land so it was sitting at the edge of a beautiful lake where his kingdom lay now he saw he's saying quack quack he waded into the water and found a small green frog sitting on a green lily pad children waded means walked with effort through water children when you walk in the water you will face difficulty you will not uh, walk uh, as you are walking on the ground fine 
So as the king of the reeds, he walked through the water, he found a small green frog. Where was he sitting? He was sitting on a green lily pad. Lily pad means the round floating leaf of a water lily. See in the picture, these are reeds children. Okay, I have only already explained you what is the meaning of reed. It, it means um, a tall slender means you can say thin slender means thin thin leaved plant of the grass family and children you know it grows in water or on the marshy land so he is the king here you can see uh, this small frog is sitting on the lily pad what is the matter my small green friend he asked who is asking this king why does your song sound so sad are you not happy in my beautiful kingdom? He's asking him question. What happened to my little friend? You are not happy here. If you have any problem, please say me. I'm afraid of the water snake, croaked the frog. He swims quickly across the water and tries to hunt me. I'm small and I have nowhere to hide. Who is saying all these things? Frog is saying, he's saying, I'm afraid of the water snake. He's saying, okay. And he is also saying that uh, uh, whenever I am sitting here, he swims quickly across the water. Children, you know, snakes are so fast in the water. Okay. And he's also saying that the snake tries to hunt him. And it is so small. Where will he hide? Okay. So, stop crying, said the king of the reeds. I will turn you into a water snake. And then you need not to be afraid anymore. And I shall not have to listen to your sad song. Children, if you listen to the happy song, you get refreshed. You are so happy. Okay, it's it's just like a refreshment to you. But suppose anyone is singing sadly, crying and singing, how will you feel? So, and especially when you are tired and you want to take a rest, okay? So in the same way, King of the Reeds, he was taking rest and he was not, he doesn't want it to listen to his sad song. So he said, okay, okay, don't cry. I will change you into a snake water snake and then you will not have to be afraid of anyone with that the frog turned into a long slender water snake with a little red tongue flickering in and out of its mouth you might have seen a snake how its tongue moves in and out of its mouth okay tongue so slender means thin okay and flickering means making small and quick movements so what happened as the frog was turned into a water snake? He starts moving his tongue in and out of his mouth. Let's see children. This is the water snake. So at that moment, a green mm, head on, heron. Okay, heron means it is a large bird that lives near water. It flew overhead and landed in the water nearby. His long beak aimed a sharp peck at the water snake. Help! Here's the snake. If you do not help me, the hare's beak will stab me and I will be eaten. So children, see, what is the meaning of uh, stab? To, uh, you can say, to put some pointed weapon into someone's body as to kill. Okay. So what happened when he was turned into a snake? Then who came? A hare and a, uh, it is a bird. It came and it was flying overhead and then it landed to the water nearby and you know this heron they have long peak i will show you the picture now okay so now, now the snake wants help from the king of reeds again he's saying please help me otherwise this bird it will kill me it's, it will stab me with its pointed peak and beak and it will kill me and i will be eaten by it now with a sigh what is the meaning of sigh children to breathe out slowly and heavily <sighs> like this with a sigh the king of the reeds turned the water snake into a tall gray heron and the new heron like looked at his reflection in the lake and ruffled his smooth feathers proudly ruffled means children like uh, erected its feathers in display it's written in your book and forth in the water Fourth means children out and away from a starting point means it is moving. Pecking at small darting fish and frightened frogs. Pecking means striking with the beak and stalked means you know moved in a threatening manner and darting means to move moving rapidly. So what happened children? 
Now the king of the reeds turned the water snake into a tall grey heron. The bird it changed the a snake into a bird and now it looked itself in the water in the reflection of the lake and it becomes so happy who is moving he is moving here and there okay he is feeling very proud that uh, uh, yes now no one can kill me and he is also pecking at the small fish and it is also frightening frog children just imagine he was itself frog and now he is frightening frogs he did not notice the jackal which had come to drink at the edge of the lake with a quick rush the jackal pounced on the heron holding him tightly by his long elegant knee neck so now what happened after becoming bird again he is not safe who has come to kill him jackal has come jackal lives in the forest so he come there to drink water but he saw uh, this uh, heron okay and he wanted to kill it Uh, and how did he try to kill him by holding him tightly by his long elegant neck like you have seen in the picture it has a long neck now again help cried the heron king of the reeds help me please the jackal has caught me by the neck and he will surely eat me if only i could be a jackal make me into cunning jackal see he is so selfish he is so greedy children after becoming the bird okay when no uh, jackal came to kill it now he is again he again started crying and he is saying no please help me because uh, i will be killed by jackal so please turn me into a cunning jackal now otherwise what will happen i will be killed by jackal okay now he is becoming so greedy children the king of the reeds was losing patience am i have no peace at all he roared angrily i shall make you into a cunning jackal see how you like this and with a flash of light he turned the struggling ron into a jackal see so now it i think it is fourth or fifth time he changed himself now he turned it into a cunning jackal and he saying okay please give me peace now be satisfied with whatever you are okay but um, he wanted more and more so with a flash of light he was again turned into a jackal So one question is here: Why did the king of the reeds decide to turn the frog into a snake? So children, I have explained you this chapter till here, so you can answer it. You can answer this easily. The new jackal was delighted. He was very happy. He ran this way and that, leaping at smaller creatures and fluffing out his ta tail. He sniffed uh, the evening air and howled a high-pitched wail at the moon rising over the edge of the reeds. So, children, you know he was so happy. And what happened? What was he doing? Um, he was moving here and there, and looking at the smaller creatures, and then he was also killing them. So, fluffing out means making his tail appear fuller. Means obviously tails, uh, tail of the jackals, they are very fluffy. So, when he was moving, it was looking very nice. He sniffed. He sniffed means children what? Uh, like uh, you have seen animals, dogs, and all how they uh, drop air audibly means uh, the sound comes through the nose to detect a smell. They are doing like this, okay? Uh, so to smell something. So he sniffed the evening air. He tried to smell the evening air and howled a high pitched howl. Means you know, make a howling sound. Large means high pitched sound. Okay, veil at the moon rising over the edge of the reeds. What is the meaning of veil here? Again, the sound which comes in pain or anger or grief. So what he is doing? He is smelling the evening air and making high pitched sound at the moon. Obviously, you know, children, fox, jackal, they make sound like this in the evening time. So he did not notice the leopard creeping quietly near the reeds. the leopard has not eaten for several days and he eyed means he looked at the preening jackal hungrily creeping closer and closer until he pounced and the jackal was pinned to the ground by his sharp claws so what is the meaning of preening admiring admiring someone's appearance and pinned means held down he hold it So what happened when he was moving here and there freely? He thought, "Now I am safe. Who will kill me?" Just then, a bird comes. 
Okay, and ch- children, do you know he was h- hungry from so many days, and obviously when leopard is hang- hungry, he will not leave anyone. So he uh, hold this uh, a jackal with his claws. Once again, loud screams pierce the night here. Okay, piercing ch- sound, children means what? Very high piece sound, very sharp sound. King of the reeds, help me! Wailed the jackal. The leopard has pinned me to the ground. I cannot escape. Make me a hunter like the leopard and I shall fear no one. See, again he is becoming greedy. Whenever he is in danger, he called king of the reeds. And now he is saying, please escape me from this leopard. Please save my life from this leopard. He has pinned me to the ground. He has held me to the ground and he is going to kill me. Please help me. I am growing tired, growled the king of the reeds. Will you never be satisfied? And he turned the jackal into a powerful leopard whose coat shone in the moonlight. Coat doesn't mean that he is wearing a coat. It means that he is talking about the outer layer of his skin. As you can see in the picture. So finally he turned it into this leopard also. But the greatest hunter of all was approaching the lake at that moment. <clears throat> a young warrior carrying a plumed spear. Plumed spear means children <clears throat> decorated with feathers. And spear means, you know, a sharp weapon. So when he was turned into leopard, just then a greatest hunter of all means of that time, he was coming to the lake. And you know who was there? A young warrior carrying a plumed spear, a pointed spear, a pointed weapon. <clears throat> which was decorated with feathers and a fine shield shield you know it is uh, for to uh, for protection okay so a fine shield came upon the leopards at the water's edge your coat will bring me fudge fain he is saying when this a young warrior he saw leopard he was very happy why because he is saying that his coat, leopard's coat will bring him uh, he can make him famous uh, when he will uh, sell it in the market he said to the terrified leopard leopard was now again he was afraid again he was a scared children he threw his spear with deadly aim yes where to the towards the leopard and he struck the leopard in the knee just imagine children his aim was so good the leopard roared with pain and once again implored the king of the reeds for help implored means begged to beg for his life so again children what happened <clears throat> he started begging to the uh, this uh, king of the reeds that please save me from this hunter from this warrior children you know what is the meaning of warrior a brave soldier or fighter you can say now what happens see again oh king of the reeds now i know what it is i want to be i want to be this skilled warrior and carry a sharp spear and a strong shield Make me a warrior and I will serve you all of my life. See, this is said by that frog. But now he has become leopard. Now he is saying, I don't want to become leopard. Please um, change me into this warrior. Now finally I came to know that I, what I want to be. Okay, and he is saying that please make me a skilled warrior. Okay, and what will I do? I will carry a sharp spear and a strong shield and I will also serve you all of my life. Whenever you need my help, whenever you need me, I will be there for you. The king of the reeds hesitated for a bit, but then he turned the leopard into a tall and powerful warrior. The warrior was proud and pleased. His body grew stronger and he lived his life fearlessly. Now children, what happened? The leopard was changed into a warrior and he is carrying a sharp spear in his, in his hand and a shield also. And just see, look at his body, it is so strong and fearlessly he can live his life. But the story doesn't end here, children. Then one day, the king of the reeds sent for him to help him build a new palace in his kingdom. Why should I help him? The warrior asked. I am just as powerful and noble as the king. Why should I? Why should a great warrior build a palace for the king of the reeds? I will not help him. See, he has become so proudy. Okay, 
Uh, he is boasting himself and he's saying, Oh, I will make a palace for him, but why? I am so powerful and noble, just like the king. Uh, why should a great warrior build a palace for the king of the reeds? He should make himself, his workers will make, his labors will make. I will not help him in any way. He, has, he is boasting himself, children. So, children, how do you think the king should react after hearing this warrior's words? Obviously, he will become angry, right? So, Hearing this, the king of the reeds was very angry. Yes, obviously he should be angry. He has done so much for this frog, a small frog. He made him a warrior. So powerful man and he is saying this. As the messenger, as the messenger delivered the warrior's message to the king, a great flash of lightning lit up the night sky and the earth trembled, shook, okay, in um, a sh a sh yes, shook. So when silence was restored in the lake, there was no sign of the powerful warrior. See children, the king was very, very angry. Okay. And as soon as he got message, he heard that he is not, the warrior is not going to help him. He again make him um, frog. Finally, he made him frog only. So all that could be heard was the sad song of a small green frog sitting on the lily pad and saying quack quack. So children what have you learned from the story that you should be grateful or not, you should help people or not and if someone has helped you, how will you help him back? Okay and very important thing we should not be greedy, we should not be selfish, we should be grateful to the people who has helped us. And obviously, children, everyone's turn comes. If someone has helped you, you also you should also help someone. Okay, so this story was very interesting. Children, we will meet in the next video with all the book exercise of this chapter. I hope you have understood the chapter. If you have not understood, please watch the video again. That's all for children today. Thank you.